Okay, next item up is the uh, policy 630 credit recovery correspondence course distant learning courses, uh, including virtual or online courses, offsite summer school. First, this is the first read. First read, just wanted to get this in your hands because I don't want to bring in my policy council just to sit and discuss one week, so I sent them an email version and wanted to get this in the, as a first read to you. All I did was include the language, the general language that there is a fine arts survey requirement available uh, if a student has other needs that they need flexibility for this graduation requirement that they can see the principal uh, to make uh, for an exception or to make other accommodations. Um, I didn't put in all of the specifics. I know there was a question about the double dipping, but the way the specific waiver is written, it protects against that. It lists out the specific courses the students can use towards the waiver. So I don't know if we want to put all that detail into the policy or just say that there is a waiver for this requirement, and then it gives us the administrative procedure flexibility to continue to tweak it is. Well, you said music, not specific. Marching band is music, isn't it? Where do you see that? A student, at am number one on find that what you inserted. A student takes a course half minimum within each area of concentration of fine arts over the four years, and you put music, visual arts, or dance, drama. Right, but on the actual waiver, we list out the specific courses so that kids couldn't double dip. Well, I think the policy has to say what the board wants, because if you the next person could come in and not list that as specific course in in our discussion was you can't get two way you can't use the same course to, for two waivers and I don't know why we wouldn't want to put that into the policy if that's are your suggestion just a statement maybe or do yeah. you want the specific language no, like on the actual I, I, sent you, I proposed some language to you have to I sent it back to you I got to check that and and the, the, the and the actual fine arts waiver that the kids will pick up when they go to pick their classes, we listed out like the 40-something courses that qualify right now. Okay. I didn't think we needed to put that in there. No, absolutely not. So you just need a statement or you want some language that would say... If that say you can't, you can't use the use same it. course to waive out of PE and fine arts. I, and I did, maybe I, I thought I sent it to you. <coughs> and the other uh, question I had is whether we wanted to parallel the other language in the waiver to what's provided for PE, assuming we actually follow it. For instance, the PE says that you have to get the principal's permission to waive out a PE. We weren't putting that in the fine arts, right? So kind of one way or the other, if if they actually have to get Pam's permission to waive out a PE, and I don't know if that's what they do or not, but assuming that they do, shouldn't they have to get her permission to waive out of uh, fine arts also? Yeah, we could. That's I, I mean, I'm just saying that the, our discussion was there should be parallel in what we're doing here, and I'd suggest we parallel the language, and if I forgot to send it to you, Kevin, let me know and I'll send you. It's general enough I could probably. Yeah, I'm not asking for specific courses or whatever, just to cover what we discussed that we thought should be in the policy. Okay? Any other? Uh, yeah, I got a question. Yes, okay. David. Why is the enrichment correspondence course um, only graded pass fail rather than graded such as the uh, remedial courses, credit recovery? Boosting of GPA and allowing students not, on, not having supervised faculty allowed to achieve grade or something that can give them an unfair advantage in GPA or class rank. Yeah, I was thinking of it an advantage. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, any other? Very well. All right, so this is the first read. Kevin will make those changes and put it back. We'll be on for our February board meeting to vote on it. Mm 